feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another ref. Recording. I, I was just, man, I was listening to Vice, um, a Vice report. I'm going to have to pull it up. But, uh, it, well, I, I know the Vice, Vice report talks about how America is probably likely the most connected nation. And then on the other side of the coin, if you will, I heard another conversation about how America is likely, if you talk about races, and when they talk about races, they weren't talking necessarily about color or ethnicity. I mean, well, they were talking about the race, uh, meaning, you know, nationality. I forget exactly how I described it. I'll put, I'll put it either down, I'll put the video down in the, uh, in the description. So, that, so we can allude to it from there anyway. But but that Americans are the most easily fooled. So how can you be the most... Imagine if you are the most connected and at the same time you are the most fooled. Wouldn't you want to make sure that you disseminate information as quickly as possible to as many people as possible? Imagine what that will do. To the people who are most full and are most connected, get whatever information you want to get out to them quickly, as quickly and to as many people as possible. That's what we are dealing with with America. That's what we are dealing with with individuals who are politically motivated, politically thought thinking, or mind thinking, and politically divided, racially divided, economically divided, all of those things, as Americans, we are the most connected and we are the most easily fooled. Now, I don't know exactly where that information is or where that, uh, you know, all those things are. You know how I am. I like, to, I like to check things out. But it's fascinating that those two things, those competing ideas, are what we, as Americans, represent when we come with an idea. Any idea. We're not just talking about you know, all ideas or, or, you know, whatever. I mean, it doesn't even matter what the idea is, whether it be racism, whether it be slavery, whether it be, and, you know, this may have, this may have occurred over, you know, a certain period of time. Uh, granted, I'm, I'm going to give, I'm going to give us all that. A beloved family member of mine passed and the story is just so fascinating, which lets you know how important, first of all, how fleeting life is. But secondly, how important it is that legacies are. Her life affected many people. And it wasn't, not, not, I guess that's my whole point, is that it wasn't so important that she had a career. It was the other things that mattered. It was all of the, the kids that she raised, their kids, and the things that she taught her grandkids and the lies that she taught, not what her career was in the end. So there is a legacy of kids that mourned. We call it a celebration, and we did celebrate her life, but we were sad that she was gone. And I have very, very, very fond memories of, of this woman. And in fact, I was surprised that she was as old as she was. But what I thought was one of the coolest things, this is one of the things that I thought was really, really cool. I didn't know this information. I didn't know this information until my father uh, told me this. They met each other. At, she and my grandpa, or she and my uncle, met each other when they were 14 years old. And if you don't think this is fate, I think it's it's absolutely fate. Something happened in their lives. We don't know exactly. Don't we? Don't remember. My father didn't remember exactly what it was. But something happened in their lives where her mother and her 12, she was the oldest of 12 siblings, took them out of where the town that we were born in, the town that we are from, called Anderson, Indiana, 
took them from there to go to Philadelphia or somewhere in Pennsylvania. My my dad tell, tells the story that my uncle was devastated. He was devastated. He, he, he met this woman and they they hit it off and at the young age of 14 he was devastated when they left. And fast forward some many years or however many years it was somehow she came back to Anderson, Indiana and at the ripe old age of 19 they married each other and for 61 years we'll call it 60 plus I'm not sure if it was 62 or 61 60 plus years did they love, support, cherish each other the only two people that did so with each other and bore three children who then bore multiple, multiple, multiple people, levels upon levels of grandkids and, you know, so many uh, grand, great grandkids. And then to have my cousin send his mother off in celebration the way that he did was lovingly brilliant. So, along the lines of, of all the things that we talked about, uh, I, I, I think it's important that I'm going to do a story, you know, soon. I'm going to do a story about how we as Americans are the most connected and the most easily fooled. How do you like them apples? Meet me somewhere in the middle. I'm FAQ The Madness. My name is Craig. Take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way and to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose, if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.